Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and I am going to record the ninth episode of the adventures of your third favorite, favorite hero, Tertius, male, level 15, Drakish Assassin. In the last episodes, Tertius has begun to do Trunda's uh, quests and I think in the last episode he successfully managed to uh, cross the Dwarven Forest after a rather um, reckless attempt to uh, kill a fire giant on uh, Dwarven Horse 2 where he has to retreat. Well, uh, now he is down on D16, he has done the second quest, but uh, before he continues to Dwarf Town, I would very much like to scout the levels below the animated forest in order to see if we can maybe find something nice here. Very likely this is the last level that we will uh, scout because I think here we are going to find Kelavasta, the dying sage, and uh, I'm not yet sure if he has to die, so I'm not going to, uh, to trigger his death. However, this level looks kind of deserted. Very, very few enemies here. Except for this couple of fire lizards. And that's excellent. A fire lizard corpse. Let's eat that. Ha! That gives us a good chance for uh, fire resistance. And here, indeed, we have found the chaos servants who attack the dying sage. So, carefully, slowly kill them all. By the way, just before starting this recording session, I have uh, watched a couple of Adom videos by Bormek, uh, very nice uh, Adom Let's Player on uh, on YouTube, and uh, he's doing very well. He's getting better and better. I'm sure he's getting closer to uh, to his first uh, real late game character. But one thing that you shouldn't do if you empty these rooms is uh, just hit your finger on the on the on the six button on the on the walk button and just run into the enemies because it could always happen that you suffer a couple of critical hits in a row and this will so much kill you. So that's uh, definitely a thing you should avoid. I also think Bormek should avoid it and then he will be even better. If you haven't seen Bormek's channel yet, I suggest you take a look at it. He's doing uh, really nice and uh, entertaining, exciting Adam runs and uh, I think he's really close to getting very far into the game. It's just a couple of things that he sometimes has to think of but he's getting better and better as I said. Check out his channel. I'll, I definitely watch all of his Adam videos. So, have we checked it all? I think so. Hmm. Which one was the staircase to the animated forest? I think it was this one here, but before we enter it, let us again equip our Cloak of Invisibility. Here we go, and indeed uh, this is the animated forest. I will kill the hostile trees so they do not come after me and block my way. And this time I want to take the path in this direction. I will also stay at the or at least close to the to the to the border of the room. So uh, if the trees get hostile, I do not risk having to fight too many of them at once. So, do not run away. Good. So down here we are. Nice. There's already another. Ouch! We got hit. First eight, we've got it at 52. Okay, that's not uh, that good, but it at least helps us to regenerate a couple of hit points every now and then. It was a nice critical hit against this tree, but it managed to flee. It's a little too many of these foster trees for my taste. But I think you make them aggressive by attacking the uh, the other hostile trees. And again he flees. Well, let him flee. Hmm. 
here we go, that was again some progress. And this obstacle is just gonna die. So, come on. Yeah, the animated forest is kind of a little tedious. So that's the challenge. If you want to have it with less tedium, you have to take the risk of the Dwarven Horse, which I really love to do. I just should not run into uh, into any uh, fire giants, then you can get through there, especially with uh, invisibility. But of course, on the Dwarven Horse, there is always the risk that some ridiculous out-of-depth monster just kills your character. If that's too risky for you, this is your way to go. I'm getting hungry. Probably eat something of that large ration. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. I just attack a couple of them to get down here. If we do not have a path to uh, progress, I will just kill a couple of these. Why do we want with them all? Have we got. Oh, backstabbing! 100! That's it! <laughs> we backstab them! <laughs> that's excellent! That's assassin style! Actually, backstabbing and invisibility is a lethal combination. See how much longer it takes when we cannot backstab them. Zack! <laughs> That's nice! Get out of the way! <laughs> attention, attention, assassin on the way! <laughs> That's super! I take the broadsword, because the broadsword sells so fine. I also take the ration because. Uh, Probably Tertius is going to be hungry after slaying all these uh, trees. Hmm. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean uh, backstabbing you. <laughs> I love it. That's why I was told I should make use of that backstabbing skill. That's <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I'm sorry, trees, but I have to kill a couple more of you. <laughs> you die all. <laughs> and rat. <laughs> no, you. Okay, nobody around. So let's return to the last level. How great is that? Oh, it's a long way from here to the to the stairs. We're rather downstairs to the Dwarven Halls, but we're surely not going to go there. Because there awaits this fire giant, if I'm, not, if I'm correct. We should probably unequip the, the cloak, though. For Morian giant cost, that could give us strength, but it could drop our appearance. I'll risk it anyway. Nothing happens, however. And we get a random tele teleportation, that's nice, that makes the trip a whole lot shorter. However, I'm happy that we've done that uh, second Tundas quest too now. What do we have here? I think we should pick up. Well, not too much of that. Most of it we can leave it here, but I'll pick up the money. Who knows, maybe we'll do something with that. Apart from that, let's go get the reward for our quest. Here we go. Hello, Trunda. We have finished your last quest. Well done. Okay, what do we get? Uh, the Wand of Fireballs, of course. Uh, that's some great reward. Next is the Ogre Tribe. I think we can just do that quickly quite sure that we are strong enough. Ah, we have got cold resistance, that's everything that's important. I think the ogres should not stand a single chance against us. And we get uh, braces of toughness. So we've got 16 protection right now. If we equip these braces of toughness, we still got 16, but more hit points. And if we equip these copper braces, those are also braces of toughness. I think I'll stay with the braces of toughness because they also increase our hit points or toughness score. Okay, these guys. Ogre corpse. 
I hope we are hungry. Well, it's very unlikely that we get a strength increase when we're already at 22, but uh, I'll try it anyway. Very fat, very fat that meat. indeed look very fat. But that's ogre style I guess. They eat as much meat as they can. And that's not exactly good for the shape of the bodies, but they don't care about the shape of their bodies. They just care about eating human beings and all other humanoid uh, life forms in the Dracula chain. I just do not want to get bloated. Oh, fine cloak, that might be something. Potion of water, nice. Couple of snakes, don't care. The ordinary ogres are definitely not a single problem for us. Red garments, okay, okay. Are they probably fireproof? That would be fine. Well, I think that rather soon we will get the elemental garments anyway, so it's not that important probably, but anyway. Another ogre corpse. Oh, there is an invisible ogre magus. Moderately civilly. Okay, it runs away. Here it is. And we slew it. Excellent. But what I want to do is I wanted to check if we could still Maceptia. Well, I cannot see any so let's just eat the ogre cops. We're bloated now. Okay, so probably we will not be able to eat any more ogre corpses. However, we have not yet found uh, the second ogre mage, and we have also not found the ogre lord, which is usually usually here. Ah, not the ogre corps. I just leave it on the ground. Like I said, it's very unlikely that we will at all get an increase at this. Uh, that level that we already have. But you know what? I can increase my chance uh, by increasing uh, my food consumption just by making myself invisible. What do we have here? Oh, it's a big tension room, I think. And this is the fight of the invisibles. Oh, and the second Ogamegus is dead. I think we were just disarmed. Yes, we were. So we should probably use missiles against this guy, this annoying rattling duelist. Sometimes they drop some nice um, sometimes they drop some nice gloves though, so it might be worth it. Now change to the uh, poisonous X. I think this poisonous X is quite cool. I might keep that as a backup weapon even for for, for the later game. But I, the moon I prefer. I think I used the Mace of Disruption against this uh, Skeletal Warrior because it just bonus damage against Undead. And the Warriors are actually quite tough, as you can see, they do damage to us. Kill the Red Worm, come on. Yeah, it is dead. Also the Troll, fine. He drops the corpse, I will eat that. Ah, too bad. No increase on uh, regeneration. That would be the ogre corpse, I think. Have we done the quest? I don't know. No, we have not. Where is the remaining ogre? I guess that one of them must have fled. Oh no, we just forgot. Ah, here's the Ogre Lord. Oh, he heavily hit us, but at first we uh, backstepped him. And now the quest is done. Killed them all. 
take these with me. Where was the entrance of the cave? It was uh -huh, up there. Well, that looks like I have a uh, strange resolution for my uh, <laughs> for my for my playing screen right now. But well, okay, can I change that now? So, Tonda, we have finished your third quest. Well done. Take this gold and use it wisely. Thank you very much, my friend. The next quest is going to be combat practice. Let us become the champion of the arena. Well, but before we do so, we want to eat another ogre corpse. Really satiate it again. And we definitely want to identify and sell some stuff. First, I want to know what this fine cloak does. It is another cloak of invisibility. That's fine indeed. They are rather vulnerable to uh, elemental attacks, so I think that a backup uh, cloak might be a fine thing to have. Red gunners, these are ordinary gunners. I'll check how good these red gunners are. They are at the moment we've got 15 protection with these red gunners, it's 17, so they might indeed be fireproof. Mm. But I should probably not forget to keep my rings a good ring of ice, why not? Uh, can we already bless it, by the way? Yes, we should also do that before we forget that in an important moment. So, what else do we want to drop? Uh, I think uh, the white leather gauntlets, the ordinary gauntlets. Hmm. I drop these braces of defense because they somehow stuck. FG, those weapons. 216, 180, that's okay. Scubari. Mm -hmm. I will probably never use the Ring of Stun Resistance. Marble Wand is one of the fireballs, we have to remember that. Mm -hmm. I also sell this Ogre Corpse before it drops away. And I think that's everything we need for the moment. Like I said, next is the uh, Arena Quest. So I think we should in this episode, in this episode, at least try to reach the arena. But before we do so, I drop our money here on the stairs so we do not uh, have to carry it around all the time. Oh, wrong button. Like this. Around the stairs. Probably in the dark room. I think so. Upstairs, that's what I'm looking for. Yes, that's the new feature I was told about. You can just uh, press the upstairs command uh, while teleporting and you will be teleported right to the next upstairs. That's excellent. Like that. So uh, thanks a lot for the hit. That will save me a lot of time. Wizard, he's summoned already. Couple of beasts, large orcs. Where do you go? He runs away. Coward. That's not our direction. It's a Gelantinos cube, but I can also not care about that one. Did you drop anything? Black helmet? No, rather not. I think that's definitely not, or uh, very likely it's not better than our mythical cap. Armor. Okay, that was uh, something to suggest, but I think the mithril ring is so much lighter that uh, I'm not going to use the plate armor. A dark elf priestess. Also, we've got a cat here, and again, I forgot, did we already kill a cat? Let's check that. We kill cave bears, cave fishers, cave lizards, cave men, but no cave tigers and no cave lions. What about wild cats? 
no wildcat skills so far. So let us try to outrun this guy. Both of invisibility. Okay, cool. Did they drop anything? No. That's what I said. I would never ever uh, just hold my finger on the on the number button, uh, on the num key to uh, to kill them all. I just uh, click rather quickly if I want to do it uh, uh, less careful, and I click slowly if I play with more care, and that really helps me a lot. Since I stopped just uh, leaving my finger on the key, I uh, I avoid many many uh, useless deaths. I would like to eat that dwarf just because I think dwarfs are delicious, but well. Okay. Oh, a mimic. I hope we get teleportation to get away from that cat. Yes, we get it. Here we go. A couple of foes here. Hopefully not for long. Okay, and which is the stairs? Ah, over there, I see. This time. Here we go to the big room. Did not find too many herbs here. I'll just go up to this room and I think this might have been the arena. So let us check if we can find it. Does it look arena-ish to you? I think so. So this must be the way over to the main room. Oops, get paralyzed. And here are the rattling traders. This is indeed the arena. So I am wondering... Oh, we made another level. Thus, maxing alertness, which is super, super, duper cool. And I think I might also continue with dodge. Oh, that was... Oh, okay, the second one was a little better, at least. So, let me take a short look at the clock. We have played for 22 minutes, and I think we can at least do the easy starting arena fights. So in the probably probably I think it's okay if we do the arena if we play it a little quicker and I think we are tough enough to play it a little quicker we've got almost 200 hit points so I think there's nothing nothing much that could go wrong here. So I guess we can definitely finish the arena today. And then in the next episode. Go for Tunda's final quest. Oh, and the Dark Sage dropping us a Mithril Dagger. Thank you very much. I'll just scout the rest of the arena. So we know where everything is. Dark. Perfect. Uh, Black Hell thing, that's the name. And the Mithril Large Hammer, also that's not too bad. Okay, like, no, Dark Face, go away. What does he drop? A blanket and a battle axe. We take that. Get another Gnaw. I think he again dropped the battle axe. Check that out. Yes, it is a battle axe. And uh, if you're interested in, in, in making some money, it's a good idea to take these battle axes with you because they sell really excellently well. There's a couple of types of weapons which sell very well, even in uh, ordinary iron version, which is uh, battle axes and all kinds of swords, more than all. What did they drop here? Light gem. Check the others too. 
Um, another Mithril Dagger and a Brown Gem. Some money and some more money. Now I'll kill the Cave Fisher. Wait. Is that a Dark Elven Lord? Okay, these guys are quite poisonous, but we are poison resistant. At our strength, I'm not afraid of these guys anymore. At least not on this level. Another spider fight. Now let me take a look how many enemies we still have to fight. Um, eight more fights. We can do that. I, th I think we are we're good in timing. We, we can make that. Oh. Do we have to kill this cat? We have, as I see that, no wands of trap creation, no wands of teleportation. <laughs> we have though a potion of exchange. So let me try that. That might work. Take the potion of exchange and throw it at this cat. Ah, and it turned into a zombie. Haha, <laughs> that's what I hope for. Die. <laughs> Fine. I just hope we won't get another cat. Well, that would be very bad luck if we get two cats in the arena. I think if that happened, because I really like to get the, the cat ring, I would just teleport out with a random teleportation. I think we should get closer to the final fight. Okay, that's not the final fight, but I think soon it should come. Who's next? Two more fights. Ha! Huh. We're get, really getting closer to the finals. What was? Oh, I teleported out. Sorry, I hope you're not angry with me now. So, leave me. Please, let me get in again. Oh yeah, and he stunned me. Fuck. But we won. Nice. And so, final fight. Who do we get? The invisible Ogre Magus Lee Hon Kai. What? Okay, he already made himself invisible. I think he cannot do as much harm, but he can run away, and that's really annoying in uh, such a open level like this here. Severely wounded, come on. Wait. I will poison him. That's a good idea. Where is he? Come on, Leon Kai, show yourself. Ah, that's so annoying fighting this guy in this room. We do not have any door creation, do we? No, we don't. So nothing we can do. But I think we just poisoned him. Moderately wounded. See these ice blasts, I think I... Oh, he's already down there. Crap. There he is. Oh, that's so annoying. I think in the long term we will kill him, but it will be hard and annoying fight. Severely, come on. Critically, one more hit. Oh, and he retreats. Ah, we killed him. Nice. Hasta la vista, Lihon Kai. I think it is possible that we just uh, um, poisoned him to death. So, fine. Uh, I think at this point we might as well stop this episode. In the next episode, we will then return to Dwarf Town and there get ourselves the final, the last one of Tunda's quests. Until then, I think this was not the most exciting episode, but we were successful, we reached our aim and somehow that's fine too. I think we do not have to get into grave danger in each and every episode. <laughs> However, thanks to all of you for watching, for crossing your fingers and supporting Tertius, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.